I'm going to give you guys the TLDR at the very beginning. If you like things like Tyron and Charlotte and Eridos, then you're going to like this guy. If you don't like using those units, then you probably won't like him because this is a unit that does a crap ton of attack gauge reduction, a crap ton of CC in general, but will mostly attack gauge reduction. I think he might do the most uh, attack gauge reduction of anything between his skill 2 and his passive of anything in the game possibly i know some people are gonna comment on that oh tyrant does a lot and shung pung does a lot and like those they do but this guy just goes crazy so uh we'll we'll touch on that in a second so the first skill uh blocks beneficial effects uh 30 chance goes up to 50 percent which is not you know super reliable and then rng is not super reliable uh, but this also does get stronger with his passive, right? So this this is kind of like a Lauren for a skill based on his passive. If they are frozen, we're gonna get into that in a second. Uh, grinding attacks all enemies three times with a giant whirlwind to reduce their attack bar by 20% each and attacks them once more to freeze them for one turn with a 30% chance. It doesn't go up here, which is kind of sad, but so it, it's only a 30% chance to freeze. But between this and the passive, it's going to decrease attack bar quite a significant amount. So cold brew passive attacks the frozen enemy, reduces the target's attack bar by 30% each. So all of this attack bar reduction is even greater. He also does skill one attack bar reduction if they are frozen. Um, and if the frozen enemy gains a turn, target's HP will be reduced by 10% each. So this right here, the best place I can think of for this is TOA Hell. So we're going to use him in TOA Hell in a second, but we're also going to use him in some PvP. He does so much with the three turns cooldown. He does so much attack age reduction. Let's uh, compare him actually to... A few other units that I think you're thinking of right now. Here's some pros and cons of the Water Espresso Cookie versus similar units. Number one, he's got great base speed, 114 base speed, which is very high. Not quite as high as Gingerbread, but still very high. Second skill is a multi-hit, which is great for additional damage. Uh, also, it's great to average out the RNG instead of being like, oh, I hope this lands. It doesn't land. Well, that sucks. Then you have, you can at least rely on one or two to land, even if not all of them lands. Uh, even if not all of them land. Uh, he also has attack gauge reduction. And so this should say freeze. I don't know why it's uh, on there, but uh, that should say freeze. Compared to Tyron, which actually I think he could be used great with Tyron, not even instead of Tyron. Uh, Tyron needs two turns to attack gauge decrease and stun. Well, actually, again, freeze. That's supposed to say freeze there. Uh, skill three, freeze. And then skill two, he needs to violent proc or get another turn to uh, actually get his attack age reduction. We have Vered, which is, you know, you have to actually summon Vered. Uh, no multi-hits, but more reliable. And an HP lead. Uh, we have Azara, which is a single target unit. She does have speed lead, but she does have single target attack age reduction. So Vered has, uh, he does also do the freeze and the attack age reduction in the same skill, kind of like the uh, the Water Espresso Cookie. And he's more reliable. Uh, Eridos, I think, is a good comparison to Eridos. Eridos has a higher stun chance. He has attack age absorb, and he has element neutral. So, the f I think that Eridos is a stronger unit in general if you didn't take that passive into consideration. Like, if it was just about the skill 2 versus Eridos skill 3, Eridos skill 3 is stronger. However, taking the passive into consideration is just going to cont uh, continue to do that attack age uh, decrease. With the uh, with the passive, and then also the extra damage, which I'm not really I'm not really talking too much about the extra damage, but he still is going to do uh, that extra damage if the opponents get turns. Uh, we have Shung Pung, which is uh, no stun unless you put despair runes. Also wind element, but increases a lot of times. It's nice to have water element, uh, especially if you're taking him to like arena defense or you know that your opponents are prepared for you bring in wind units. Um, he does increase cooldown, and he also is a nat 5 that you have to summon. Charlotte, who has no stun, but she has stun on skill 2, but has a glancing debuff. I'm talking about her skill 3. And then she can keep proccing and using her skill 3 more, but uh, to, to get access to her skill 3 after she sleeps with skill 1. But with, uh, with Water Espresso Cookie, he's just going to continue to decrease attack age with, uh, with the skill uh, 1 as well. Uh, and then we have the Water Elven Ranger, single hit, 
stronger if activated, weak if, uh, weaker if none. It's just binary RNG. Kind of same with Varad. It's just binary. Either it does it or it doesn't do it. We're going to take it into uh, arena offense against this team. This is something I was using Charlotte with, but I thought that we could use uh, the water espresso cookie with instead. We have two fire threats here. We have the Nana. It's going to be weak against the Riley, of course, because water. So let's see how... Let's see how much we actually is. is how, are you guys tired of this yet? <laughs> You're like, we were tired of it the entire time. We got the multi hits, which is going to be good against the. Uh, see, we get nothing. Well, we actually don't get nothing. Let's do some attack age decrease here. All right, pretty nice. And then we have the blade slaughter. We're just going to come in. We're going to kill some stuff here. That's kind of the point. And then, unfortunately, we don't get. But this is this is what to actually expect. We don't get a whole lot of. Um, of CC because it's not very reliable uh, freezes. So there we go. We got to see some amazing, uh, amazing cocky action. But you do get to see the skill. I kind of like the skill three animation. It feels very impactful. He's just on uh, speed crit rate accuracy, but it feels very impactful with all the multi hits. Here's another one. Two fire threats on defense. So let's th there's a lot of there's another Riley, but uh, yeah, too far because you know arena defense has a lot of fire threats. So let's take same exact team. Let's see if we get a little bit luckier with let's take a look at the attack age reduction that we get. Not really a crap ton of attack age reduction. However, when it is I like that it froze Riley of all the things. Um however, the we will get more attack age reduction when things are already frozen. So when we attack frozen things. So we got to see the Water Espresso as the only CC unit. Now we're going to take this in with Tyrant, which should make things completely attack age. Well, as long as we actually get the freeze with the Tyrant, we don't know. There's a Molly on defense. RNG could be RNG. Remember, this is Summoner's War. Oh, also, it is uh, it's kind of challenging to speed tune things with 114. Nice, we got CC on everything. This should be solid. Let's put this on uh, one speed, which you guys can't see because my face is in. My face is in the right spot. It's still in the way of things. Uh, let's see how much we actually attack age reduce. Molly could come into play, which is kind of uh, unfortunate, but we get a lot of attack age reduction. That is a lot of attack age reduction. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but that's a lot of attack age reduction. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. That's fantastic. And then we come in with Tyrant after the fact. Cyclone. Again, I know people are going to compare this to Tyrant. I feel like that's not an unfair comparison. Let's do Molly decrease tech age on her. Let's do... Who else do we want to do? I think we just want to kill things. Should we kill things? Always take the kill shot. <laughs> As he doesn't take the kill shot, which is a genius move. Let's do this. And nice. We get grinding again. All right. Which means that they don't have any attack gauge. And this is... Since it is multi-hits, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, it is... You can rely on it at least doing a some attack gauge, which is doing, like, all the attack gauge reduction. But you can rely on it a little bit more than a single target. Uh, not a single target. Than a single hit skill. So, like I previously mentioned, this is potentially a great unit for TOA Hell. We are here in TOA Hell, stage one. I didn't do any TOA Hell this month. This is on the Europe uh, server account. So, I didn't do any TOA Hell on this account this month. There's just a lot of manualing. See, well, actually, you could, just, you could auto. There are some teams that auto. We even showed one. This, they, they nerfed TLA Hell, didn't they? Okay, let's take a look at the attack age reduction. This one, actually, this is perfect. Because we're going to be able to see attack age reduction on the other units versus how much we actually get on the Malaka in the middle. So, let's see. We did, I mean, we did also get a lot on the Malaka. But we got more on the, uh, on the what's-his-face. And then I just have the... Serpent here for the defense. What? Why is the backlash moving last? That's odd. I don't know what runes are on the spectra. I knew that the the serpent was maybe the spectra is missing runes. Now that I think about it, we don't even need to use this yet. We don't even need to use uh use that skill. Let's do who has the highest attack age. The one in the middle. Not surprising. But. I don't know what's going on with this Spectra. We can use the attack age. Actually, we don't even need to use this. We could. This is this is almost overkill. This is definitely overkill. We have the grinding. 
and everything is down to zero so this is exactly this is this is a pretty solid it's, it's a pretty solid unit for toa hell but you don't even need let's do cyclone again i don't want them getting turns do you don't answer that i can't want to, well actually if they get turns then they take some damage so based on the passive let's actually see one of them get a turn who has hmm. I wish that they uh, that we could see who has what defense breaks. We don't need the uh, the skill three. We don't even need this. Let's see them take some damage. Let's 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 see them voluntarily. We're gonna voluntarily give them turns so that they take a little bit of damage. They do. Some of them have continuous damage, but we're gonna we're gonna gladly give them turns. Let's uh, put this on one just so we s actually that's. Yeah, we don't need to put it on one. Take turns. Okay. So a little damage, but we, they also had continuous damage on them, so. Let's do freeze. But we we willingly gave them turns because we didn't have to give them a single turn if we didn't want to. So we could have just taken a, we could have done our damage from defense bricks. And some damage. Oh, I don't know why I hit that. <laughs> Uh, the one that doesn't have the defense break. Yeah, let's hit that guy. That seems like a good idea. I they they did nerf TOA Hell, right? At least the first stage. I feel like they nerfed TOA Hell. It was it was crazy at the beginning. It was absolutely it was an a nightmare. Do we do TOA Hell videos? Should we do TOA? We should probably do TOA Hell videos. We, I think we started to at the beginning and never finished, didn't we? Because it was a nightmare. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to have to keep re-recording and re-recording and re-recording to actually get uh, the RNG that we needed at the very beginning. Okay, so let's see. This is not going to do anything to this uh, this wind. Um, why was I going to say Hell Lady? Harpy. Not going to do anything. Look at that. Nothing there at all. Everything else completely reduced. Nothing on her. She's a wind unit number one, and she wasn't frozen. So. That is to be expected. I don't know why this Spectra is so slow. He's probably missing a, a couple runes. Why else would he be that slow? Actually, that's not going to do anything. I don't know why I did that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, the, the only issue is these uh, these wind units. However, when we get to the boss stage, we are going to have an issue with the Ciara because she's a wind unit and we're not going to be able to freeze her. So that's going to be that's going to be the issue there. But we at least got to see. We don't need to see this whole thing, but we at least got to see. Although Fran's still going to do attack age reduction, but this is going to be significantly less uh, impactful. We could use a wind vagabond. Uh, against the boss here that could be that could be a fun thing we could also use uh i think the paladin although that's less the stipulation here let's not even do this let's just do that the stipulation here see this is this this is stunned so this is not going to is not going to attack each decrease that so glancing hit oh here we go grinding so this is everything's back down to zero except for this one which it did do as part of the skill some attack age decrease, but it didn't do based on the fact that it's not uh, it's not frozen, so it didn't do more attack age decrease. But it's pretty solid. It's it's pretty solid. It's very similar to Tyron, but honestly, like as we're seeing here, you can just use this with Tyron and have the most value. This one should be interesting. We don't have a lot of. We're gonna take some reflect damage from the Alexandra, so that should be fun. This is not the team that I would generally take into this. However, I think it could still be pretty decent. We're going to go for Ariel over and over and over again. Grinding should set all their attack ages down to basically nothing. I don't know that I really want to do the skill 2 because that's going to destroy us. Let's just keep CCing. And Alexander is pretty nasty right now. Not gonna lie, pretty nasty. Okay, uh, let's do let's do attack age decrease here. Let's do this. Okay, 
Let's do one of these. Let's do, I'm just gonna go for the Perna. I think we still lose this one, actually. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, I think we still lose this. Because we have no way to deal with the Alexandra. All the reflect damage there. Yeah. Aside from the damage from being... Uh, yeah, aside from the... We ain't gonna not do that much damage. We really gotta not do that much damage. Can we kill here? That could work. That 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 could work. That could work. Do we die? Does everything die? Okay. Yeah, we but we managed to do it, but it was uh not not clean. It was an interesting uh interesting one. So that is the water espresso cookie. At first you think, oh, this is a unit that I can use instead of Tyrant. However, after playing with it, it is a unit that you can use with Tyrant because then you get all the value from all of those freezes Tyrant does and the attack gauge reduction of both of those. So you just, your opponents never get turns unless you specifically want them to get turns, which kind of negates half of the passive over here of them taking damage if you're not gonna let them get any turns anyway. So anyway, uh, this is ruined with speed crit rate accurate. It doesn't need to be this. I just wanted to make it faster with good accuracy. I put a little bit of additional damage here. I put a little bit of additional damage here. Crit damage on skill two is not, I mean, we do have crit rate. Not that you really even need it to be on this though. You can just make this uh, speed HP accuracy. You can put speed crit damage uh, attack. You can do speed crit damage. You just want it to be good, uh, good accuracy. But you know, you guys already know that. I don't know why I'm saying it. You guys already know. Anyway, that's it for this one. Pretty decent unit. Not crazy OP, amazing, ridiculous, but pretty decent unit, and it's easy to get uh, somewhat reasonable speed, or maybe even too fast sometimes, because 114 base speed. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.